This is one of the books I got for my birthday, La Trilogia de la Niebla by Carlos Ruiz Zafón. I've only read the first novel so far, El Principe de la Niebla. I would say this is aimed at the higher end of middle grade, bleeding into young adult. I don't know whether all the books are about the same characters, but I guess I'll find that out in the future. This story is about a family that moves to a coastal town and gets mixed up in some supernatural happenings. That's fairly standard fare for middle grade. I've read quite a lot of it in English. The language isn't too difficult. I could understand it without looking everything up. And this first book is reasonably short, about 160 pages. It isn't the fastest paced book, but that may be a good thing when reading in another language. The story's okay, but quite easy to guess what's going to happen. And the emotional scenes didn't really hit home with me. Here's a paragraph from the beginning to see if you think you'd be able to read this book. Habrían de pasar muchos años antes de que Max olvidara el verano en que descubrió casi por casualidad la magia. Corría el año 1943 el, y los vientos de la guerra arrastraban al mundo corriente abajo sin remedio. A mediados de junio, el día en que Max cumplió los trece años, su padre, relojero e inventor a ratos perdidos, reunió a la familia en el salón y les anunció que aquel era el último día que pasarían en la que había sido su casa en los últimos diez años. La familia se mudaba a la costa, lejos de la ciudad y de la guerra, a una casa junto a la playa de un pequeño pueblecito a orillas del Atlántico. Many years would pass before Max would forget the summer in which he discovered, almost by chance, magic. It was 1943, and the winds of war were dragging the world downstream hopelessly. Mid-June, on the day Max reached 13 years old, his father, watchmaker and inventor in his spare moments, got the family together in the lounge and told them that this was the last day they would spend in what had been their home for the last 10 years. The family were moving to the coast, far from the city and the war, to a house next to the beach in a small town on the shores of the Atlantic. I think we'll give the father some leeway, seeing as it's wartime. But the next day, yikes. <laughs> 